Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a LMS theme. So basically LMS stands for learning management system. So with the help of this theme you will be able to create some beautifully designed WordPress website on which you can showcase your courses, right? Anybody can come and upload their courses and make them paid so that any other a student or anybody who wants to learn something related to that course would come to your website and buy that course. So this is like if you know about Udemy, Udacity or if I'm not wrong, Udemy, yeah, Udemy or what was that Skillshare, right? All of these platforms are LMS platform where you can go and sign up for a certain amount and you will get the course, right? So today we are going to make some kind of that website and we are going to use this course and LMS WordPress theme. And the best part about this theme is that it has over 4000 sales, which is a great deal, right? and uh, we are going to see how we are uh, we will upload this theme on our wordpress website and let's see first how it is looking on uh, as a demo purpose because if i'm sure these people provide a two to five demo content as well if their website is properly functioning then we can see that but apart from that first of all you need to buy this theme i'm assuming that you have already bought the theme and the theme file is uh, just located on your system and there is an issue with the author website let's close it so you have the theme file on your system let's install that theme file on our wordpress website okay so for this video purpose i'm using my own domain youtube.srmehranclub.com i generally use this domain for video tutorial for you people only on so let's get started first of all you need to uh, log into your dashboard so for that you need to type uh, youtube.srmehranclub.com wp admin so generally uh, to log into your dashboard you need to type your domain name slash wp hyphen admin right so my domain name is here youtube.srmehranclub.com right so basically this is a subdomain but still this is a domain right and it will redirect you to the dashboard so if you're logging in for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were installing wordpress on your cpanel right so once you entered that you will be redirected to this page this layout is basically the uh, what should I say the back end of your website? So let me give you a quick tour what uh, we have on the left hand side So generally uh, with the help of setting section you will be able to manage all the setting of general settings reading writing setting or permalink basically permalink is one of the important aspect Let me tell you whenever you install a wordpress on your domain uh, Always select this uh, permalink structure because permalink is basically URL structure how you want your URL to be looking like So this is one of the best structure for SEO purposes and come down and save it Okay, so these were some general settings and if you come to the tool section You will see import tool export tool you can import some pages file images medias anything and export it as well site health and WP reset and everything and all that so with the help of user section you will be able to create some user assign them different roles like if you want a website to have multiple admins your friends are admin you can always have that right you can create multiple author you can create multiple writer everything cool so with the help of plugins so basically plugins are those files with the help of which you can extend some kind of functionality on your website so if you want a slider you need a slider plugin if you know need a contact form you need a contact plugin right so under the appearance code you will find theme themes are basically structured how you want your website to be structured and customization is the theme customization option widget menu background so basically we are going to deal with everyone okay so let's click on theme and here we are going to add the theme as you can see i have already added the theme but i will show you how you can as well add it okay click on add new i've just uploaded the theme to save the time of this video okay and here by default wordpress provide you and numbers of free theme so generally there are a lot of difference between free theme and paid theme i will uh, give you a quick uh, description between both of them they like free theme are very less customizable right the uh, option of customization is very limited in the free theme right if you want to customize the header footer or any specific page there are very limited option to customize that so and apart from that the conversion rate on a free theme are pretty low in my experience so i generally prefer you people that whenever you are purchasing uh, if you are have a little bit of money to invest upon your business brand anything like that always invest that small amount of money in your uh, in a theme so that your website would look attractive right 
so i'm assuming you have a theme let's upload it click the file choose the file and here's the file i will click here select and install now so once you click on install now it will uh, upload the file from your system to the wordpress uh, server right so i have already uploaded it to save the time let me just activate it super simple steps right so it will open a setup wizard which will ask you to install and activate the whole plugin and i will i will show you something let it activate okay it has been activated successfully and it is a setup wizard right we need to click on next then it will show something and this is asking what you would do, what you would like to name the website and what is the site description let it be smi run club and let's save it and let's go skip uh, we don't need envato elements right now let's skip it so basically it is asking us to install some kind of required plugins let me give you a quick tour right so basically a theme consists of multiple functionality rather it could be sign in sign out slider contact form image gallery anything right so a theme consists of multiple functionality and each and every functionality totally depends upon some kind of certain plugin and if that particular plugin is missing out of your theme then you won't be able to uh, properly make the website full functional so it's always recommended that whenever th your theme suggest you or recommend you to install some kind of certain plugin never ignore those messages just simply install all of the plugin which has been suggested by your theme okay it is asking us to install all of them we will click on install and activate it will take a couple of time just wait for it then the next step is to import the demo content that is one of the important and amazing step we will look after it okay so is the time just wait for a couple of seconds and it will be activated so as you can see all the plugin has been installed successfully it's time for us to install all the recommended plugin so here it is i will just uh, no it's time to install the demo content right so let's pick one demo content let it be this and i will click on install and import all the demo content and it will take couple of moments right you just need to go to grab a coffee and drink it and come back when it is finished right let's wait for it so as you can see demo content has been installed perfectly on our website let's see how our website looks right now let's uh, go to the next step and customize your website and uh, it will redirect us to the customization option if i'm not wrong but uh, we don't want to customize it right now let's come back to the dashboard so everything has been imported successfully let's see how our website looks right now that's the moment of truth right and it's loading let it load so as you can see everything has been loaded successfully and we have a very beautiful website in front of us everything has been perfectly designed the header footer as you can see footer is so uh, perfectly aligned and uh, yeah everything looks right to me if i enroll in any of these courses like this 33 dollar course if i click on this then it will redirect me to the course section where it has to be the whole course the course heading the teacher name category student how many are registered for this course a small brief video for this course and description course content the course curriculum is empty uh, apart from that if i go on other course let's see some uh, content has been put or not in any of these courses then we can get a rough idea what we are seeing right now and course content is empty if i click on curriculum courses okay everything looks fine to me if i go to the demo education institute then it's redirecting us to the other page no issues coming back to our website so according to me everything looks fine if i'm not wrong right and the best part about this is this is also mobile optimized which is a great deal right getting mobile optimized your whole theme is one of the important aspect right because most of your user will be on mobile mode so i hope you really get my point what i was trying to explain here so at the end i just want to say if you really like this video just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one